Welcome back to Don't Starve Together. This is Update Herd Mentality featuring seasonal herds. Where did they come from? We have no idea. Damn. <laughs> then we have the mini signs. Organize your items by marking your base. New behaviors and interactions between you and your pets. Pets, traits, and royal drops. Wear a hat fit for a queen. Bundle up your supplies in easy to carry packages. Let's jump into this. All right, guys, I'm going to show you how to make the bundling wrap. First, you need to refine a honeycomb, and that will turn into some beeswax. And then when you have the beeswax, turn the beeswax and some paper into wax paper. And then from there, you want to refine the grass into rope. And then you can make the bundling wrap. And for that, you just use the rope and the wax paper. And depending on how much you have in it, so if you have one thing in it, it'll look like that. If you have two to three, it'll look like that. If you have four things in it, it'll be the biggest looking. And then you just put anything in it like so. Then you could just unwrap it when you're done on your journeys. And then you get to keep wax paper. So then you, all you need for next time to make is some rope. And the last thing I wanted to show you guys was what you can do is you can put some of your food in the bundling wrap. And then if you wrap it up, you can go on your journeys and do whatever. It doesn't matter. It won't go bad. So just to show you guys, I'm going to stand here for like a couple days and show you that this meat right here will be good when I open it. And this meat will be all moldy and rotten. Just how my robot friend likes it. Tonic water. As you can see, he enjoys that kind of meat. And you can see, when, once I open this package, the meat is fully fresh and ready to go. So when you're on your journeys, if you carry a few of these with you, you can put all the food you find in it so it doesn't rot before you back to base. Or it could be good to bring in caves if you're looking for some stuff down there, maybe you get some light bulbs. Possibilities are endless. And now for the mini signs. So for that, you only need one board. I'm going to go ahead and make two. Which one? For one board, you get four signs which is pretty sweet. And also you're gonna need a feathered pencil. So for that you need one twig, one charcoal, and one jet feather. I'm gonna go ahead and make five of those bad boys. Here's my chest. Let's put these down. So what you do is you just put the signs in front. I guess you can put them on the side too, however you wanna do it. Just close to your chest. Then I got a couple extra, so then what you do is, I never tried, but let's see. I never tried making one for a sign. Maybe I want this to be my sign chest. And then you just, so pretty much you just drop whatever you want that chest to be dedicated for. I want this to be my grass one? Hey, if you want a meat chest, who's, who's going to stop you? Just got to be close enough for you to draw it on. Then you just left click on it with the pencil. So it costs one pencil to do so. And it doesn't keep your stuff, so that's pretty cool too. You just repick it back up. Just put that bad boy in the meat chest. And you're good. And that's pretty much it. This is actually one of my favorite things for this update, to tell you the truth. These signs, man. Now there's no excuses to mix up the chest, make him look all trashed inside, everything all mixed up. Once again, you gotta kill the bee queen. And once you do, you're able to get her bee crown. As you can see here, it doesn't work like the Spider Queen's mask. Because the bees, they still don't like you. See, they still want to kill me. As you can see here, I'm unaffected by the dark petals. And then when I take my hat off, I get that big arrow I sure don't want to see. So you can see, I actually gain sanity off insanity. So it's actually pretty good. As you can see here, it also works pretty good against their clops. They're good at kiting them. You just go and get get a few hits in, back up, and you actually gain sanity instead of losing sanity. He ain't so big and bad no more! Unless he hits you. It makes you look like a pansy. Look, he's making you look like a pansy in front of my little pet! Let's be honest. My pet already knew that. Alright guys, so these are the no-eye deer, and they have 700 health, they do 25 damage, 
they will pretty much attack like beef flows. So if you hit one, they're all going to get super mad at you and go ham on you. See, right now I'm in the, the birch nut forest area. And I found them over here. So I don't know if they might have wandered from here. But far as the places I've seen them so far, is I've seen them in the birch nut area. So around the picking. I've seen them in the savannah. And also in the mosaic area. Which is pretty much where you would find pretty much where you find the pet den so i found them here the birch nut area and pretty much where the beef load would be at savannah so i'm gonna show you and they, they also seem to like these salt licks be <clears throat> take that actually that one's just sleeping oh and you get one oh they're waking up oh shit take that run away like a pansy they're still pretty pissed at me. But yeah, they drop one meat. They are pissed. There's really not much to the deer. Just, you see them. A good way to catch them is bait them in with these salt licks. Or just put them this. Oh, that little jerk. Just put them to sleep. Go in here and get my meat. <clears throat> so that's pretty much it for them. And the only other different thing is pets have more animations now. So you could pet them, get up, and they dance around and do a bunch of other different stuff. And if you feed them, they won't whine as much. They'll kind of build up. I, th I still kind of think they need to add like a bar or a meter or something to tell how hungry they are would definitely help. That's it for this video. Let me know where you found the dare at, what biome. And also check out my buddy James Bucket. There'll be a link in the description. He does a bunch of Don't Starve videos as well. P.S. James. You owe me $200. Woo! Here goes nothing. Uh, you bitch. Take that. Uh oh. Ah! Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> damn, she's huge. Oh. Uh,